Hi, Lou here from Kayaking Connecticut with Lou. Today I'm going to install this hatch. First, I'm going to give a shout out for my new book, Kayak Eastern Connecticut, 70 Eastern Connecticut Paddling Destinations. It's just published in uh, April 2016. And of course, my Kayak with a Dog guide that was published last year. I got this hatch as a Mother's Day present. Um, it was $19 and change on uh, Amazon. And it, I'm going to do it all one handed here. It uh, locks and unlocks. And then there's a waterproof bag inside. They'll hang down inside the kayak that you can put stuff in. I suggest that when you do a project like this, you set the item on the kayak like it is here in the estimated position that I want it, or I think I want it, and then leave it there and just look at it every once in a while over a course of a few days to make sure that's exactly where you think you want it. Then the other thing is you need to consider what is underneath because obviously you need to have it in a place where you can put items in there and not have it be in the way of like your feet on the footrest and so forth, but also forward of this position, this flotation in this kayak. So you don't want to be uh, running into that either. The first thing that I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to remove these straps. I'm going to reposition them like I did on the back of the kayak anyway. It's something I've been wanting to do. It crosses too small of an area to be useful to me. You can see that I already did this to the back of the kayak. You can see that these bungee cords cross most of the back of the kayak and they're not just in the small area that comes standard with the kayak. I did this because I go camping and I like to be able to pack a lot of gear on the kayak and the small area that comes standard with the kayak is just totally useless to me. The first one popped out real easy but this one's not so I'm just gonna saw it off now that I got it pried out enough that I can fit the blade on it. Whenever you cut holes to put like a hatch or something big into your kayak, save the pieces of plastic because you can use them to patch holes. This is the hole that was created when I pulled the uh, pop rivet out just now. And we can patch that with some extra plastic that I have from this kayak. It's really a good idea to wipe off the area before you start drawing out the circle that you're going to use to um, cut the hole just so that you don't have pieces of, uh, well, I have pieces of metal here from when I popped out the rivets. You don't want that stuff in the way when you're drawing the line. You want a nice even clean line. The easiest way to make the outline for the hole that you're going to cut out is to use your gasket. I've drawn the circle using the uh, gasket and now I'm drilling holes around the edge of that circle and then I will saw between those circles on the line and uh, cut out the circle. I drilled so many holes around the circle because I'm sawing this by hand. If I was using a power saw, I wouldn't have to have all these holes. Having all these holes will make it easier for me doing it by hand. Once you have the hole cut, clean up all the excess marker. I use dry erase marker so it comes off. And get rid of all the pieces of plastic from around the area so that when you put the gasket on, it'll If you're really particular about how straight it is lined up, you can run a piece of rope or yarn or string or something from the point of the kayak to the point of the cockpit or if you don't have a point in your cockpit, you can go from one tip of the kayak to the other and make sure that that line lines up with the center of your hatch so that the handle and everything is lined up straight. Once you have the hole cleaned up, put the hatch in the hole without the gasket, check it out, line it up, see how it fits. And if it fits good, take it back out, put the gasket in, and recheck it. Make sure you open it before you drill the holes and make sure that the bag inside isn't caught in your gasket in any way. And then close it and lock it. Whether you're bolting it or screwing it in place, make sure you don't do all the screws or bolts on one side before you do the other. Because if you do that, you can press this side in and pop the other side out. And it can make like a warping effect on the plastic and have it not sit right. You want to um, do one screw or bolt on one side, then go to the other side and form like a star pattern. The same way you would put a tire on a car and for the same reason. You don't want to buckle one side out versus the other. Notice this groove. This groove goes all the way up through and to the point here. Right here. I put sealer 
in this uh, groove right here beneath the um, gasket and the same up here I put sealer and over here this is what the finished installment looks like notice that the bungee cords have been moved and I used it yesterday if you like this video and you found it helpful give us a like and a share check out our other videos I'll see you soon and thank you for watching.